Welcome back to our fifth annual Halloween special, my favorite time of year, the best time of year, Halloween. This year we're talking all about scary films for the entire month of October, if you haven't been seeing my earlier videos. And now we're going to be talking about a Friday the 13th movie, and this is the perfect day to release this video. Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Let me tell you a little bit about my history with this franchise. I understand the popularity of the Halloween films because the first one is a legitimate classic. The second one is even pretty good. Stay tuned for this Halloween, I might be talking about that. But when it comes to the Friday the 13th movies, I don't really consider the first one to be that great of a film. It's basically a slasher movie with Jason and he kills people, but it takes itself very seriously. It's not tongue in cheek in the slightest and it was clearly trying to profit off of the new trend of slasher movies started by Halloween in 78. It took them all the way to part six to finally realize what I think this franchise needs. Some fun, some levity, not to take itself too seriously. This is a guy in a hockey mask who runs around killing people at camps that rarely ever have children. In fact, part six is the only summer camp in the entire franchise that actually has real children staying there. So they even got that right. In the beginning of Jason Lives, Tommy Jarvis visits Jason's grave and tries to put an end to him once and for all because I guess being in a grave and dead underground isn't good enough for this guy. He stabs the corpse over and over again with a metal rod and eventually Lightning strikes this rod and resurrects Jason and makes him a super powered zombie. And it's fucking awesome. Part six has my favorite kills in the franchise. It's the most fast paced. It doesn't take itself seriously. It's actually fairly well directed. It has good suspenseful sequences and a great amount of atmosphere. And it finally understands that the only merit this franchise really has is us waiting to see Jason kill somebody and the tension that comes before that kill. They don't try to set up real characters, they just want to have fun. I mean, after Jason gets resurrected by a bolt of lightning, the first kill is him punching through someone's chest and removing the heart on the other side. It does not get better than that. Or does it? Because immediately after that, we get a James Bond style opening starring Jason. This is exactly what the franchise needed at the time. Someone to come in and just make a really entertaining horror film that didn't take itself seriously, that recognized that it probably shouldn't have from the very beginning because it was never gonna be as good as Halloween, no matter how many times they tried. So let's just try to make something fun, and they nailed it. The film is extremely self-aware. Even the characters directly reference that they're in a horror movie to the audience, sometimes even breaking the fourth wall. Darren, we better turn around. Why? because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. Why'd I have to go and dig up Jason? Some folks have a strange idea of entertainment. Now I can see how some might not like this. Some people really do like the first few Friday the 13th movies and find them very entertaining. I think they're perfectly watchable movies that you can watch around October and not really care about seeing, but whenever you actually sit down and try to invest yourself in the Friday the 13th movies, for myself anyway, it's kind of hard. But this one, for whatever reason, just knows exactly what it has to be. I mean, Jason murders a misogynistic paintball player. <laughs> The movie has a lot of physical comedy as well, sometimes even involving Jason. He'll kill someone and then be surprised by the strength that he showed. There's a scene with one of the paintball players tripping over a lot of branches over and over. When Jason pulls a girl out of a window, her slippers fly off. Part six also features some of the most trigger happy policemen that I've ever seen in a film. The sheriff of this movie is an idiot. One of the biggest character confrontations, in fact, really the only, character confrontation in the movie is because Tommy is trying to tell the sheriff that Jason is back and the sheriff doesn't want anything to do with it. He keeps locking him up and he denies it for the entire film until Jason is face to face with the sheriff. But they are both so incredibly testosterone fueled that they cannot see past anything, especially the one guy who has a new laser sight. He really is itching to kill people with it. Body parts actually start showing up, dismembered body parts, and they still don't believe Tommy saying that Jason's back. 
he actually thinks that Tommy is the one setting the <laughs> setting the legs around for them to find. And I'm like, dude, come on, you're just stupid. How are you sheriff right now? It's also dumb that they try to make a central romance out of the sheriff's daughter. She sees Tommy in jail in the opening and is like all of a sudden into him and they just want to be together. You don't care for a second, but the film constantly asks you to. It's one of the biggest downfalls of this movie. Now, I feel like I should reiterate, this is obviously not a great film, but if you go into Friday the 13th Part 6, knowing that it's a tongue-in-cheek, hilariously exciting Jason movie, where they finally just honed it down, no filler, all killer, as Stephen King has said in the past about certain things, that's what this film is. And that's why I like it. And it's my favorite of the franchise. This film has the best kills in the entire franchise. There's a couple pretty good ones in Jason X, which is probably my least favorite of all of them. Uh, the ice one, and that was pretty good. But there's just so much here. I mean, a paintball scene? For God's sakes, there's a paintball scene. This movie, I love it. It does have one of my biggest gripes in film, though. I hate when people run out of a car and leave their door open. It's like, why? Like, if you need to escape, you could kill your battery. Why would you not just close your door? So many people do that in movies, and it's a big gripe of mine. Most people probably don't give a shit. I care. Close your fucking doors in movies, people. <laughs> Jason is so superpowered in part six that he does not need the luxury of doorknobs. He will go through the wall if he needs to. One of the downfalls of this movie being so fast paced is that they basically just throw away the lore of how Tommy discovers how to kill Jason. Apparently he finds some occult books in a car and he reads them real fast and he knows that he has to kill Jason at Camp Crystal Lake and drown him where he was originally killed. I'm like, what? Ah, uh, whatever. Set the lake on fire. It'll look cool, right? So after the big showdown where Jason twists a girl's head off and scares a bunch of children and bloodies up an entire room, eventually they fight on a boat and Jason gets drowned underwater and then royally fucked by a boat propeller and it's awesome. And of course there's a stupid final shot where his eye opens up and it's clearly not underwater as well, which is even dumber. Part 6 is a major guilty pleasure for me. I'm obviously not saying this is a great film. It's very cheesy. The characters are hollow. It's dumb. I mean, he gets resurrected by a bolt of lightning. But it has a James Bond style opening. And characters directly reference they're in a horror movie to the screen. This is the first in the franchise that was a comedy. But it knew it and it knew how to do it properly. It didn't disrespect fans of Jason. It gave fans of Jason what they wanted, but also for myself, not a big fan of the franchise, this is the one that I can watch and be like, okay, they get it. What do you think? I think we're dead meat. If you're not a big fan of the Friday the 13th movies, check this one out. It might convert you. It's really dumb, but it's a blast. Thank you for continuing to watch our fifth annual Halloween special. We have a lot more coming for you guys very soon. And happy Friday the 13th day. As always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.